What's up, guys? This is Joe here from Massey Media, and uh, today we're going to try something a little different. We don't want the channel to just be exclusively about iPhone or iOS app reviews and stuff like that. So we're working hard behind the scenes to bring you some Android stuff in the future. And today we have some Windows 11 tips and tricks. So let's jump right in. I found this uh, really cool command on Stack Overflow. You know, there's no way to get into the into the legacy display settings, right? So but if you run this command, you get the legacy performance options. And simply put, I just adjust for best performance when I'm editing a video. And then it strips down everything. You don't even see thumbnails uh, in your pictures folder. And, and then I go back to best appearance, or I can manually toggle some of these on and off. Uh, you know, when I'm not editing and I just want to get the full experience of the computer, I'll tell you, it does drive you a little crazy when you're going through um, trying to upload an image or you're doing something that requires you to be able to see all your different thumbnails and document uh, thumbnails and stuff like that. So uh, definitely want to, you just simply, if I adjust this for best performance and hit apply, you just simply run the command again. And then go back to adjust for best appearance. Uh, so this helps me drastically. It just, again, it just disables all of these things you see here on the screen. And it helps me drastically get through a very heavy uh, video editing session. Or um, if I'm mastering a song that's very complex, it, it has a lot of layers to the hook. There's multiple verses. There's sound effects and stuff like that. It just helps me, uh, even if I'm freezing some of the tracks, it just helps me. Uh, get through that with as little jitter and, and as little glitch as possible. Just simply from the settings, you can't always disable a device. If if you, especially if you lose your driver, I mean, this whole section is just completely gone for you. But if you're having trouble with a specific device and you can't um, re-engage one specific device, a lot of times when you just click remove device here, it'll get frozen. You can't remove it while Bluetooth is turned off. And sometimes that's the issue. So what I found was um, if you open up Device Manager and you click on the root, which is your desktop, and you click Actions and then Devices and Printers, you'll be able to see each one of those individual Bluetooth items here. And removing the device this way uh, has worked for me 100% of the time when I could not remove it from the newer, you know, Windows 11 settings interface. 